Hello, this is Barricade226. Today, I'm going to show you how to copy everything from your MacBook, either Mac, whatever, to a new hard drive, cloning it, along with your Windows partition, aka boot camp. The required items you're going to really need is the newer hard drive, and, and it's optional to have a third hard drive if you want to actually back up everything and not risk losing everything on your Mac. Uh, files and such. Um, you're going to also want one of these little USB bridge connections. See, I have this hooked up to the IDE, so this is going to be my third hard drive right here. Reason is because, pretty much what I just told you, I want to copy all my stuff onto it. Not all of it, just my backup hard drive. So, what's going to be going on here is I'm going to download an app called Carbon Copy Cloner. What that's going to do is allow me to copy my Mac partition to the new hard drive. And once that is done, I'm going to run this thing called WinClone. And what WinClone does, it takes your boot camp partition and it saves it as if it were an image file. And basically what's going to go on here is you want to mainly get the Carbon Copy Cloner copy every single thing over to your new disk and once that like once that's finished you want to get the wind clone um, I'll provide a link in the description box for the carbon copy cloner and the wind clone and if you want to or you should use the wind clone to copy your Windows partition along to the new hard drive once Carbon Copy Cloner is done cloning every single thing to the new hard drive from your old hard, old hard drive. And I'm going to go through that whole entire process and I'll show you exactly how it works. Now you could get one of these hard drive kit cloners from eBay. I'll provide a link to that and you can go there and get yourself one unless you want to get some sort of a hard drive enclosure with the USB. So I'm going to take this out, hook up that SATA and the power SATA to that adapter and this USB adapter to the new SATA hard drive. Okay, so here's what I have set up right now. I got my 40 gig, which is my third optional hard drive. That's going to be this right here. So I just named it local disk because that's what I did when I formatted it through the USB bridge connection. So we're going to go use this app called Time Machine. We're going to click on that, set up Time Machine. Let that load for a sec. Okay. Turn that on. Reuse local disk, not boot camp. That's your Windows file system. And I'm going to use that for the backup. Yes, erase. Alright, so we got 45 seconds left for the thing to get some actually back up. We're going to go over here, go to Firefox, because it's my web browser I'm going to use. Carbon Copy Cloner. <clears throat> That's what the website's going to look like. You want to download it. Okay, now that our hard drive has backed up its files. We're gonna unplug it and plug it into the new one on the external cords. And now it's hooked up to the SATA connection right through the USB. My other one was the IDE hard drive so that's what I was just using as a backup. So we're gonna go on here and I'll show you the rest of the things. Okay so what I did is I hooked up my SATA hard drive now and I opened the Carbon Copy Cloner, which is going to be in your apps, most likely, unless you downloaded it. It's going to be, like, right here. You want to open up the Disk Utility Manager. And I believe it will tell you that in here. If your hard drive is an NTFS or a different format, you're going to want to reformat it. Come over to this 250 and click on Erase. Format it to the Mac OS X Extended Journal format. And you can name it whatever you want. And so now we have this hard drive set as a format of Mac OS X extended journaled. So we're not we're only going to be using or 
have it set on one partition because later we're going to use the other application, the wind clone, to carve off from that <clears throat> partition for our Windows boot camp partition. So, what we're going to do here, I close the boot camp out and I'm going to just restart the system so I can minimize the applications running in the background because I probably don't want to have those running while it's cloning the disk so I'm just going to restart that real quick and another thing if you want to do so I have to always manually you know click on in your settings to switch which operating system you want it to go to all you have to do is just you know at the starting hold down the option key and then it'll come up with like two little it's not doing it right now because I have it booting into the Mac OS X right now so it'll show two little hard drive icons, one will say like Mac OS X and the other one will say the Windows and I'll show you that later. This is my original source right here where the mouse is. I'm going to go up there click on the main hard drive, the Mac OS X. The target is going to be your new hard drive and have that checked off, delete items that don't exist on the source and back up everything. Don't click save test, just click clone. And ask you, are you sure? And we're gonna hit continue. Okay, so now we have it cloned to the new hard drive. Next thing we're gonna do is you should go to Firefox or Safari on your Mac and you want to go to this website called the WinClone. And you go to uh, go to CNET. Godo, that's not even a word. And you click on download. Once it's downloaded, go to your downloads folder. Okay, so this is the intro. It tells you everything about the risks. We'll just hit agree right there. What does it say back here? Hit yes for that. And wants us to install this apparently so let's go to the website so this is the website it's going to take you to what do you want to do now is just click on that save the file and it's going to just take a second double click that and this is for that wind clone program um, just gonna load these binaries in. Binaries. So we have that installed. Close that out. Okay. Wait. And we're gonna close out of Firefox once again. And we'll open this up again. Here we go with Wing Clone. Agree. Source Bootcamp. That's the image. Image description Windows 7. June 27th. So I'm going to images. Save as untitled. Let's do this. Windows 7, comma, boot camp. I'm going to save this on this right here. That's the new hard drive I'm saving it to. Now it's going to be saving the image right to the hard drive. All right. Apparently, it is now done copying so what we're gonna do is click OK Let that do whatever it is doing right there and that should do it thing to do now is to take out the old hard drive put in the new hard drive then boot it up and then we'll use this thing again we'll click restore to get everything back on and I'll go through a little bit more detail specific detail on how to restore the image okay so gonna restart this
with the new hard drive in it now. All right, back again. Got the hard drive switched out. Looks like everything is working just fine. We'll just hit here. Go to here. The Mac OS X one. That's the new hard drive. Now here's the thing we got to do now for getting the Windows partition back on. Now this is very specific what you got to do. Um, we got to go to Boot Camp Assistant. We'll enter that. Hit continue. Um, I'm just going to continue on that. I don't believe it's going to really download anything because the past few times it just says that it's not available anymore so just let this run through. So just ignore this part. We'll just hit OK. I'm just going to click that. Um, <clears throat> now you can divide the space equally. Have it set like that if you want. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to set this at 90. You know, maybe I'll just go to 100. And I'm going to hit partition. There we go. So now it's done partitioning. Just click on quit and install later. Now we're going to install later. Um, let's go back up here. Win clone. Agree. We're going to click on restore, so we're going to select the image. Um, it's going to be the desktop. Uh, actually, here we are. I put it on the main hard drive. So we're going to select that one. Destination Boot Camp. Alright, so, here we go, we're going to restore it. And, now it's done. And I'm going to switch it to the camera and show you what it looks like when it boots them to Windows 7. We're going to go over here, hold down the option key. Wait for it. Yes, there's the window system. So we're going to launch that. Screen's going to flash into the DOS, and it's going to start loading. Ah, that's perfect. Now it's going to take a few seconds to load, because apparently it's going to adjust it to the hard drive. And awesome, there we are. Windows 7 on a Mac with the new hard drive.